Gohan can literally touch of death every character at level 1 with only a single assist, and here's proof. I'll start with a combo that builds most of the meter needed, move on to ones that may require more starting out, before moving into the corner of shame. I'll check every character for touch of death potential with Gohan and highlight the least demanding conditions. Since I'm only using one assist, I decided to exclusively use Android 18 to ensure the second assist goes unused. So hug your daughters and don your tracksuits, let's go. First combo I'm going to demonstrate is from mid-screen and it drags all the way to the corner. You use sparking early and push your opponent into leg loops. These are tough to get right, but they're an easy source of damage and meter. Before the assist, you do around 6277 damage and build almost 5 bars. Extremely self-efficient, but tough to continue without the right assist. Those are the assists that work for this combo, but let's discuss some quirks. Gotenks' combo doesn't start like anyone else's, because Gotenks needs that extra little bit of damage, along with Gotenks' second hit from the donut assist before the Dragon Rush. But because this combo uses Gohan's uppercut instead of the Mosenko, you actually lose a lot of late damage and extra meter gain. Also, the timing importance here is between Gohan's super and Gotenks' super. You have to delay it so that the opponent is above the first set of ghosts, but not so much that they hit the ghosts above it. This way, there's barely enough time for 18 to hit her super and then hit another one. This extremely precise timing is probably why I'd recommend using the super donut instead, but that one uses more meter and still needs the S early in the combo because Gotenks supers are among the weakest in the game. Yamcha needs one extra meter from most for two reasons. The first is that, for some reason, I've never been able to Dragon Rush from his assist with this combo, losing meter and damage. 
I don't know why it doesn't work, but it doesn't. If a more skilled player could pull that off, this combo wouldn't need Yamcha's level 1 for extra damage and would generate a bar of meter. Put an asterisk by this combo because the missing Dragon Rush could make it better. Same thing with Bardock, Android 17, and Blue Goku. Blue Goku has a similar issue to Yamcha, but whereas Yamcha only needs one meter to regain the damage lost from Dragon Rush, Goku has to spend two and gain less meter and damage with no Masenko. Assuming I had both and waited significantly longer for 18 Super to get more hits in, the two extra meters might not be necessary, but since Goku has such a huge damage option available and the move is already hard to hit, this works. Like the last two I talked about, Super Saiyan Vegeta's combo is hurt by my lack of good height management, but I pulled it off. What I want to highlight is the importance of choosing the right Super and the potential failure points in something like this. Besides just outright dropping the combo, a way for these to fail is by not enough hits connecting before cancelling into the next move. In this combo, the Masenko is the only real failure point since every machine gun kick goes to completion. If you hit every single move in the combo, but chose the final flash over the Excel Dance, the combo would barely be a touch of death. Given that these are supposed to be combos you can rely on, you'll want more overkill to lessen the reliance on perfect timing. Now, for the ideal candidate for this sort of combo. The best candidate is the one you have to worry about working the least. So, the two beams. Super Saiyan Goku and Goku Black are the best assists for this combo framework. As an honorable mention, Beerus is shockingly consistent. Now, if the assist can't continue the last combo or doesn't do enough damage, here's a universal but much tougher alternative. This combo can be started from anywhere on screen but can't optimally transition into super unless you reach the corner. This takes advantage of a lesser known mechanic where, once you super jump, you partially control your fall rate. If you're high enough, at unleashed potential level 1, Gohan can 2H into light ultimate back attack. If you're holding down the whole way, you should barely be able to land an air M before landing. Just remember, the initial jump off the ground must be a super jump. It's tough, a bit inconsistent, and your meter gain is much lower because you'll need to save sparking to start a dragon rush, but the overall damage is higher. Before the assist, you'll do 700 less damage than the other combo, but you'll have more time to get more damage later.
Vegeta's assist has a weird arc to it, and because of it, you have to move forward a certain distance before it's high enough to hit during leg loops. This means his mid-screen combo is an exclusively mid-screen combo. You also have a glitched alternative you can try, but that's less likely to get started. Vegito might actually be the least consistent combo for Gohan besides Kid Buu, and it's because the only way to get enough damage and stun off his assist is for four or five parts of it to hit the opponent. While that is something you can control, the timing is really precise. Broly's weird level 1 allows for easy double supers from anyone with a short enough level 1. 18's meets this requirement. In a slight roll reversal, Tien can get a double super off of 18's level 1, and with his preposterous damage, he pretty easily gets over 10k. Since his damage is so good, I actually used a slight alternative version of this combo where you hit medium machine gun kicks before hitting the final 2H. You have to hold back while the machine gun kicks are going, and still be able to hit 2H into the back fist. It's a lot harder than it sounds, but you gain a little more meter at the cost of less time to do damage later in the combo. Newly added twin Android 17's ground level 1 does 73 more damage than 18's level 1, and his level 3 does 78 less damage. 
His level 1 super has a limited amount of sliding knockdown, so you have to time the transition well. Cooler's grounded level 1 does 90 extra damage compared to 18's, and his level 3 does 3 less damage than 18's, so it makes sense to DHC in the order that I did. But following up his level 1 with 18's level 3 has a way tighter timing than it looks because the opponent moves away so fast. The rest of the combo is not too different from someone like Team Gohan's. Blue Goku is back in this part as well, because he's one of the only guys who can touch of death with leg loops who actually needs less meter with the super jump install combo, since he doesn't need to follow up, there is no need to push the meter gain all the way to max. Unless it eventually becomes possible to dragon rush out of leg loops, this is a better option for Blue Goku. Also yes, this means all three characters with level 3 follow ups don't even need them for a touch of death with Gohan. The best candidates are those whose assists are high stun moves that are easy to time and easy to hype manage against. These would be attacks that mostly move the opponent up and possibly cause a minor delay before they move. The three that fit this are 16, Tien, and surprisingly, Nappa. Now it's time for the place where everyone gets a touch of death, the corner. This combo is very similar to the mid-screen super jump install combo, but works higher damage moves into the combo early. This nets around 300 extra damage before the assists, but makes squeezing extra damage at the end very tricky. You also gain less meter overall. This is where a lot of characters with weird super properties are, like how Ginyu's charged supers actually pop up the opponent too high for 18's level 3 to hit. These are frustrating and take a lot of work to figure out. Also, some of the combos start wrong because I didn't figure out an extra M into the combo until later.
Remember how I said that base Vegeta's mid-screen combo doesn't work close to the corner? It means that his corner combo needs to be weird, like intentionally shortening machine gun kicks so that he can be hit by the disc weird. Thankfully his level 3 has high enough damage to make up for the lost damage in this combo. The erratic nature of Daddy Piccolo's assist makes his combo really tough to work with. Figuring out the timing is key. Krillin's rock tracks based on a stationary grounded opponent. So in mid-screen where you're constantly pushing the opponent forward, it's gonna be way off. And at the corner, you need to start the assist really early for it to hit at a good time. Otherwise, it just clips them early and you just gain nothing. Kid Buu is maybe the strictest assist to work with for a combo. The starting delay means that you need to call the assist at the time you execute the machine gun kicks and you need to make sure they get hit by the first strike, because if it misses, it just stops. Despite being Gohan's best block string assist, its combo use is extremely limited. That being said, apparently you can double super with 18 using Boo's level 1, but I'm not well versed at the timing. Finally, Majin Boo. His level 1 knocks the enemy so high into the air that 18's level 3 will miss without cancelling it extremely early. This means you need to work with Majin Buu's level 3, which does the second lowest damage in the game. His assist is not bad, as it's basically Tien's but with less range, but trying to squeeze out enough damage for Buu's level 3 to finish them off took me way too long. If you need the corner to touch of death, there are no ideal candidates. So I guess my pick will be Kid Buu for being the ideal candidate for not needing Touch of Depths and instead making resets and block strings better. Now, our baseline so far has had Sparking and Level 1. Let's break those baselines.
So it looks like the champion of maximizing Gohan's damage and resources is Yamcha. Kazunoko must be proud. He gets the most damage out of Gohan with the least amount of meter in the most amount of positions. Heck, the only reason Tien is even here is because of damage options available from long supers. It's a lot of options, but it's not universal. Yamcha basically lets Gohan get a ton of damage in meter, and then uses the meter to inflict even more damage. Now, remember, this isn't meant to be a guide for pairing adult Gohan and 18 together. It can be, but it's more about showing that Gohan can make use of every assist in some way to maximize his damage, and that you can have a dedicated block string assist and a dedicated combo assist without losing your damage potential. So hopefully this will give you guys some ideas and show you the value of some assists. Later.